Hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Chloe and I am really tired. I've been working so much this week, so I'm exhausted, which leads me on to say I am very sorry about missing last week's video, but I'm hoping to get back on track with the videos. Next week uni starts, I won't be doing as many shifts and I'm also changing the video to every Monday at 6 rather than every Tuesday at 6 because Tuesday nights I will be working and Monday nights I will not. So I'll have more time to prepare for it going up. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions and I love doing these videos. I wish I could do them more but I just haven't got the money to spend on a full face of makeup so I have to buy them in sections and then not use them. So I have to sit here and do my makeup thinking I really want to use that but I can't because I'm saving it. So I finally have the full face, except for one thing, which is a powder. So yes, let's get into this. Oh god, look at this. Ah! There's a massive spider on the bag. Bro, I'm gonna have to evacuate you, you're gonna have to leave. I got this bag, full of makeup, and I also have this, which you can't really see. It's so pretty. I'll show you. I am going to do eyes first, but I also do have some more eyeshadows. So I've got two like single eyeshadows. I've got this one, this is in Sure Thing. And I also got this, which is called Black Light. This is a duochrome. It's purple with like reflex of blue, I want to say. So I'm going to be using them in like conjunction with the Jaclyn palette. So I'm going to start by priming my eyelids. And I'm just gonna be using the Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. This is in Fair. So I'm gonna be using this just to prime my eyelids. This has a nice consistency. I will like link all the prices and stuff down below. It's nice, it's, I would say it's like a medium coverage just because I can still see some of like the veins in my eyes coming through. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on just to try and cover. Okay, that's better. This is definitely like a concealer you can build coverage with. There's no actual colors in here I can use all over my lid, which is a shame, but it's fine. It's no biggie. I'll just take one from a different palette. Okay, so I have powdered down. There are like some purpley and blue and, and stuff colors there so I think I'm gonna play with those because the other two colors are like blue and purple and what I'm gonna use first is the makeup geek one so I'm taking my g17 like I usually do go in my crease so the color definitely needs like building up as you can see so I'm finding I'm having to dip back into this color quite a lot I'm gonna leave it there for that and then what I'm gonna do Let's take my E18 and this pretty colour from the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I'm going to take oh Jesus, some of that on this and I'm going to stick it in my crease. That's nice. I'm going to take a bit more. Yeah, that's nice, I like that. That's real pretty. I'm just going to do the other eye. So now what I'm going to do is do a little cut crease. And you've seen me do this a million times before, so I'm going to cut this can you give me a Dr. Pepper? You all gonna turn into a fucking Dr. Pepper, mate. Okay, my crease has been cut. I would not suggest buying or using that concealer to cut your crease. It was like, it was quite sticky, so it was hard to like run a smooth line. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in to this purple colour. And I'm going to stick that on the very, very outer portion of my crease. So I'm just going to stick it like... Like so. And same on the other side. And then I'm going to go into the one below that, or above for you. Which is this like aquary, sparkly colour. Put that in the middle. Are you seeing this? This colour's beautiful, I love it. Oh my god, that's so pretty. And then I'm gonna go into Makeup Geek's black light on my inner corner. And I'm gonna take that on the same brush and pop that in my inner corner. Thinking as well, I might blend out this purple just cause I'm not loving it like that. So it just kind of looks like 
I don't know how to blend. Much better. I have this primer from e.l.f. And it says that you can use it as a primer, but also as a also as a setting spray. I have already tested the spray and I'm not a massive fan. And you can see there's like a lot of droplets on my hand, so. Oh god, I don't know about that. Oh god. I feel like it's probably not targeted the majority of my face, so I'm gonna give it a rub just to make sure. It does have a tack to it though, which is great. So someone asked me to do a review on different green colour correctors for red skin. I have bought some, but I thought I would chuck them in this video rather than doing a whole video dedicated to it. I hope that's okay. So I've got the NYX colour correcting concealer. There's a green in there, but there's also some more in there which I'll probably end up using. And then I've also got the LA Girl Pro Conceal in green. So what I'm going to do is use... Jesus Christ. So obviously one is a cream corrector and one is a liquid. I'm going to use this side on this face and this side on this face and we'll see which one wears better. I'm going to start on this side first with the Pro Conceal, which I need to open. I'm just going to plop these on all the red areas of my face, as you do. If I to use my finger for colour correctors, I, just, I feel like it just works better. I like this. So to the next side, I'm going to use the NYX one. So again, I'm just going to use my finger, I'm going to go into the green and go on to this side. Cover little Gerard here as best I can because he is very out there. So this side is definitely a lot brighter. You can see it more than this side. I don't know whether that's going to be a help or hindrance. I think maybe the next one was harder to blend because it was a cream. I find cream product products are always a bit harder because they're a bit more like waxy. But maybe it'll stay longer. I am a bit worried about this coming through though. Okay, so for foundation, I have the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation. And this is in the shade Fair, of course. We also have a new applicator. I got the uh, Revolutions version of the Silly Sponge. It's real weird. So what I'm gonna do is pop some of this foundation on my face. I have a feeling this is gonna be watery. Oh God, got to be quick. Ah! Kind of smells like suntan lotion. In the camera, this looks fairer than it is in person. In person, it's darker and I'm not gonna lie, a little bit orange. I don't know how I feel about that. It is, however, high coverage. Coverage. It's covered all that green really well, as you can see. It's definitely illuminating. It's got a very nice glow. Just not a massive fan of the colour. Other than the colour, I really like that. I think if they came out of a few lighter shades, it'd be great. I'm gonna go back in with this concealer and just put it in the usual areas that I would, so under my eyes. I am, however, first I'm going to use the NYX palette I'm going to use a mixture of this little pink to hide some of the blue that you can't see anymore because this is quite high coverage and the purple just to try and lighten it up a bit so I'm going to pop it under the eyes okay and I'm just going to go in with the silly sponge again I just wiped it on my trousers it's really easy to clean and blend that out. The only thing I don't like this sponge is this like ridged edge. Every time I catch my face on it, it just like removes some of the makeup. But other than that, I really like this. It like, when I go back, it just like takes a bit of it off. Okay, I'm gonna quickly set my face, which you don't need to see because I'm using a product that beautiful. <laughs> Okay, my face is set, as you can see, because it's a little bit lighter now. So next, I have a contour product. I have a single contour from Makeup Geek, and this is in Breakup, and it's for Cool Porcelain. It actually looks really nice. I'm gonna go in with my big fan brush, so I'm just gonna go in the hollows. It's really nice, it looks very natural, and I only used like the tiniest bit, so I'm gonna build it up a bit. Yeah, I'm a massive fan of that. Yeah, I love that. This is probably my new favourite contour product. Just going to put some on the other bits I would. And my nose. It looks so good, it looks so natural. I 
I am in love with this contour shade. It's so nice, it's so natural. Okay, and then I also have a new bronzer. And this bronzer is from MUA, it was like a pound. This is Sunkissed Bronze. So I'm gonna take my bronzing brush, which I like to use a massive brush to cover the whole surface of my big face. That's actually really nice. It was like a pound. I got a new blush by Revolution. And this was also a pound. And this is Treat. And it's like a really nice light peachy colour. But actually I'm going to do... I like to do my highlighter before my blush. Just because I think it blends in really nicely. So I got a highlighting palette by Revolution. There's all these real pretty shades in it. But I mainly got this for the pink and this purpley colour. So I'm going to go in... To the purple colour to match the purple and blue theme we've got going on with my e.l.f. highlighting brush. And I just use my finger, I like to do my nose and my lip. I think it's definitely a bit more purple in person. Oh no, you can see it there. Now onto the blush, which I've already mentioned. I've got my blusher brush and I'm just gonna, oh Jesus, put it on my cheeks. Wow, I'm really, really impressed. So, you can see it, definitely, but it's not like overpowering. It's got just a really nice little like blushed effect. So I haven't actually got a new mascara. I completely forgot about that. I have got a new eyebrow pencil. This is from Barry M. This is in, pretty sure this is light medium. Yeah, light medium. So you've got like a little spoolie on the end and the actual pencil, so. What have I done? Oh, messed up at the front. I'm gonna try my other eyebrow. I feel like I kind of messed this side up a bit. Okay, that side's so much better. But no, I like this product. It's actually really nice. I'm gonna finish off my under eye real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna pop back into the Jaclyn Hill palette. I think I'm gonna go for the darker blue. Just here, under my eyes. But I'm gonna first use blue that we use in my crease. Going with my E18 as usual. So I've popped that one under there and I'm going to take my flat brush. I'm going to go into that darker blue. I'm going to pop that as close to the waterline as I possibly can. Like so. Just going to do the same on the other side. Alright. So I have some new eyelashes. Just super drug ones because I think they're the best. And these are just some natural ones. Okay, whilst I wait for my eyelash glue to get tacky, I've also put some white in my eyes. I'm going to just highlight the portions of my eyes using the Morphe palette, the, the thingy one. And I'm going to take this one here. I'm just going to put that on my inner corner. And I'm also going to pop it underneath my brow. So you got that nice little pop. Okay, I'm gonna put my eyelashes on now. <laughs> okay, so I weren't filming that whole time, but it's no biggie. Basically, I put the eyelashes on. It was really hard and really annoying. I just, I don't know why, because I've used these eyelashes before. Not these exact ones, but natural edition ones that are quite like small and wispy, as you can see. Yeah, but this is the best I've got them. I feel like they're just gonna be irritating all day. And then I just put my lipstick on, which you can obviously see, and I'm loving it. It's looking great with this look. It's MUA's Lip Blacker. This is in Splash. So yeah. That is everything I got. Let's do a setting spray with this so I can just frighten myself again. <laughs> I am going to go about my day. It is, how what time is it right now? It's 20 to four right now. I will check in with you later to see how everything stays. Okay, so it's about, it is 20 past nine. It's been five hours and as you can see, the lips didn't hold up too well. What can you do? I knew it was going to happen because I had like oily food, so it's fine. Everything else actually looks really, really good. We're in a different setting because I usually use natural lighting and it's very dark outside. The foundation has actually wore brilliantly and like I'm not too oily, like even around my nose. Everything has stayed in place. The eyeshadow looks beautiful. That has stayed in place really nicely actually. That blue still looks like I've just put it on. Even the powder products actually, the contour, the blush especially, for a pound. I can still see that blush like I just put it on. I'm actually really happy with everything. I can't believe everything stayed as well as it has. Please like, subscribe and share. And remember that it's every Monday now instead of every Tuesday. 
and I'll see you next week. Bye.